What is going on guys, this is Dealer here back again. Today we're talking about a few different pretty interesting things, including Microsoft's first hint of a next generation Xbox 2 game. Yes, this is real, and it's actually the first time it's happened. Secondly, we're talking about some kind of reveal dates brought to us thanks to an IDC analyst for the Xbox 2 and PlayStation 5. Also, just regarding all of the DMs I got, particularly on Xbox Live yesterday about CES, Phil Spencer was there, oh my god! No, I didn't waste my time making a video on it because that's just too much time for what is really no new information. Phil was there, but that's about the only interesting thing about it. He was there. He didn't say anything new. There was really nothing to discuss. There were certainly no hardware chips confirmed for the next generation Xbox, like some have suggested. Absolutely nothing new. So, of course, I'm back with the video where we do have a few things to talk about. So, we'll start with an IDC analyst talking about PlayStation 5 and the next Xbox's reveal. He does say that PlayStation 5 and the next Xbox are to be revealed at E3 2020. Now, as we go along here, I'd like some of you guys to chime in in the comments and let me know what you think about this because last I checked, a lot of consoles are actually revealed before the E3 of that year's release. Now, I guess it all depends on what he means by revealed. Does he mean physically shown off on a stage somewhere or does he mean some sort of announcement from Microsoft and Sony regarding next generation consoles, some sort of confirmation? If you remember, the Xbox One was the only console to actually be featured at its reveal, quote unquote. Just before E3 2013, they talked about the Xbox One specs, showed it off on stage, whereas the PlayStation 4 was not present at its reveal, quote unquote, but its specs and some games were detailed. Both consoles were then shown off once more at E3 2013 and then released fall of 2013. Now, of course, I'm not ruling 2020 E3 reveals out, but I will say Microsoft have never been more transparent when it comes to their hardware. The very same day they revealed their Xbox One S, they then revealed their Xbox One X to ensure customers know both are coming. That way you know everything up front, you can make your decision as to which one fits your price range. That was a full year before the Xbox One X's release. Fast forward to 2018, Microsoft revealed the fact that they are working on multiple next generation consoles. This is an industry first, and it is also extremely transparent. And what are the odds of them teasing these new consoles without them at least hinting at them or teasing at them again the following E3? My point is, is that Microsoft are not likely to wait as long as E3 2020, their next Xbox's release year, to show you their next Xbox. And when it comes to PlayStation, they full on ditched E3 this year for what many people think is some kind of PlayStation 5 reveal. I would say that skipping out on E3 2019 to simply hint at a PlayStation 5 to show a logo of PlayStation 5 at PSX 2019 is not enough. There needs to be more. I mean, skipping E3 is bad enough already, regardless of if you're showing off the PlayStation 5 or not. But if you then only tease a PlayStation 5 for the rest of the year, without something more, without at least the specs, that is a major fail. And if it is a full reveal of the PlayStation 5 at PSX, I would say that PlayStation 5 can be expected early next year. There's no point in revealing it once, revealing it and talking about the specs again in the spring, showing it off again at E3 2020, and then releasing it in the fall of 2020. Now, yes, they could find a way to remove one of those steps, maybe two of those steps, but it's just not like Sony to cancel an A3 for a year, hold their own event somewhere for something that is literally almost, at that point, a year out. So it's clear, a lot's going to happen this year, and a lot is going to depend on what Sony do at something like PSX this fall. Could be a separate event, we just don't know. If they go all out, give you the specs, tell you about the console in that regard, it's possible you could have a spring release. If they do a tease, all of their E3 stuff is a big fail, and you are likely waiting until fall 2020 to get the PlayStation 5. But at the end of the day, I guess we will have to wait and see. The console industry has never been more unpredictable. There are all kinds of questions about what hardware will come forward with us, what will be left behind. And if you checked out the last RDX podcast, we had a sit down with insider Brad Sams, yes, the guy that leaked the Xbox Scarlet information in the first place. And he did agree with everything RDX podcast has been saying over the past couple months about forward compatibility and Xbox. Meaning, hey, we think your Xbox hardware is coming forward with you. I know I'll get some questions, so I'll link that podcast down below. But ultimately, I guess we will have to wait and see when they decide to reveal these things. It should be very exciting. 
Now, when it comes to Microsoft and their next Xbox, they are already, like Sony, developing software to give to their fans. As a matter of fact, from what I hear, they are developing a lot of software for their fans. And this is the first we've heard from Microsoft regarding any new titles hitting their next console. It comes to us thanks to a job leak from Microsoft themselves. They are looking for a software engineer. And this listing is, in fact, for Turn 10 Studios, the award-winning racing team at Microsoft. The application seeks a full-time software engineer and says Microsoft's Turn 10, creator of the highly acclaimed Forza Motorsport series, is looking for an experienced C++ game developer. For those that don't know, C++ is a code they use when developing games, not the quality of the developer. But here's the important part. They are looking for this developer to help deliver the next generation of Forza Motorsport titles. It says, if hired, you will be on a multidiscipline feature team working directly with designers, producers, testers, and other developers to deliver high quality features to our customers. It concludes by saying we are looking for someone that has well-rounded experience in different areas of game development. Now that's actually pretty interesting now that Microsoft have finally posted anything about the next generation of anything when it comes to their software. And for those wondering, we are still not sure when Forza Motorsport 8 will even come out. Remember, we broke this story on RDX Podcast. The Turn 10 team were not working on Forza Motorsport 8 in full development like they would traditionally do, hinting at a retooling for the next generation. Perhaps a new engine, new technologies, all to scale up to better hardware more efficiently and of course with more visual flair. Basically, to sum it up, they may take their first ever three-year development cycle with Forza Motorsport. They've always been a two-year franchise and this extra year is bound to help them in quite a few ways. But if you ask me, you are hearing about now what is going to be an Xbox 2, Xbox Scarlet, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be a launch title for that box. So for me personally, this is actually pretty interesting. While the Horizon series is absolutely phenomenal, appeals to a lot of people. I prefer the more hardcore, competitive, more realistic Forza Motorsport series. They tend to have better physics. Tuning and things are much more important over there as well. And that's why I'm actually really, really excited to see what they are doing with this next Forza game. One thing I do know is that it absolutely needs some new upgrades. Lexan Glass, Race Fuel for instance, anything to change it up. And they definitely need those club garages back in Forza Motorsport 8. But hey, let me know what you guys think about all of this down below. A lot to take in here a lot of personal theory in this video but of course hey uh, if you're into that kind of thing put your personal theory about how these consoles are going to be unveiled and if you are a Forza fan let me know what you are looking forward to most from the next motorsport title I got some links below for the patreon down below check that out if you want to win some new games be a guest on RDX podcast are a creator and are looking for help in some way in the area of YouTube and so much more these sources are linked down below as they always are and of course hit that like button if you learned something today or enjoyed the video share this with a buddy or two if you get a second that would really be appreciated and if you're new subscribe I'm dealer I'm out